Hey guys, what's up? So this is just going to be another quick practical demo to debunk a very common flat earth myth. So um, we're all familiar with the sight of the sunset and the light from the sun spreading across the water like this or uh, like this in the video I've got here. And flat earthers like to claim that this is impossible on a globe. One of the more prominent ones recently, you'll hear very often stating this, is Nathan Oakley, who has a habit of putting these sunset images up as backgrounds on his shows. And he's been told, obviously, lots of times that these actually debunk flat earth. But he has been heard many times to repeat this myth, which is to say that the way the light spreads up to your feet when you're standing at the beach is, again, supposedly only possible on a flat plane and not possible on a globe. So again, this actually comes back to a problem of scale. There's also another side to it. When they say that it's not possible except for on a flat surface, it actually technically debunks itself. If we look back at this short video clip, no one in their right mind would say that hundreds of thousands of small peaks and troughs would be considered a flat surface. And obviously, you can actually see, as an example in this, the swells of the waves rolling across the surface. So when you're actually watching this happen, you're not watching it across a flat surface. It's lots of little pockets of light little pieces of light reflected off of hundreds of little pieces of water at all different elevations from each other. So I'm just going to do a quick demo using an object which has a curved surface and shine a laser upon it to demonstrate how this actually works for the people that can't scale. Now what you see here is a crash symbol from a drum kit and you can see it has a curved surface and this can be considered to represent a portion of a sphere. Now if I match this up as best I can to the protractor to scale I'm getting about 15 degrees across this section here. And now remember we're only dealing with one degree and then within that one degree you're actually only going to be able to see this light spreading across the water up to the horizon. So if your horizon is three miles away because you're standing down at the beach, you're really only seeing three miles worth of water, three miles worth of light reflecting off that water. So to the scale of this image that I've created using the overlay, you're talking about an area not just only a single degree, which as you can see, pretty much looks flat anyway, but probably something like the thickness of this line, which might actually be too much. So you're talking about a very small surface area again. So all we need to be able to do to demonstrate that this is a false claim is shine a line here and see if we can cover that area or more. So here is a video showing that light, as you can clearly see, spread over a much larger surface area. You can even see that the light appears to follow the curve of the surface. It's probably around 8 to 10 degrees at a rough guess, based on the scale established earlier. It's certainly a lot more than a single degree, which would be more than enough to prove the point. You can see I'm using a laser, so the source is a single straight beam of light, no trickery involved, and it's simply due to the angle it's able to spread over several degrees of the surface. So this claim about the necessity of flat water is nonsense. Again, this all comes down to scale. Now I've taken some still images just to show again that it is a, a laser shining a straight beam. And then looking at these other stills I've taken, what I've done is I've reduced the exposure so there's less glow from the light. And then I can zoom in and show you that because there are grooves on a symbol, it's a similar situation to the 
water with the peaks and the troughs, as I was saying earlier about water, it's not actually a flat surface. So these little grooves represent a similar situation where the light is being broken up. And you can see there very clearly it's covering several degrees across the surface. This would be the equivalent of looking several hundred miles and still being able to see the line of light from the sun coming right up to your feet. So, another flat earth falsity debunked. Cheers guys. <laughs>